Shalom, and all praise to the Most High, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Rakak Wadash, and double honor to the apostles and elders, a great millstone for teaching his truth that's gone all around the earth, and Shalom to the hopeful elect. We should brought our ties of wine from the great millstone here in St. Louis, and uh, we're going to jump into a quick lesson this evening on faith, all right? Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to entitle this, uh, this lesson just yet. But it will be to the effect of either faith or now faith, okay? Um, given what we've seen over the last couple of days, right, particularly over the weekend, all right, of a, a certain candidate, right, allegedly, supposedly uh, shot at, all right, um, you can see that things are not quite what they seem, all right? And it's, in a nutshell, it's going to take a lot of faith or faith in general, right? For people um, to endure these, these last days, I'll say it that way, all right? Because uh, the only thing that will get a man or a woman or a child through and these evil days that are upon us and are yet still to come is faith, all right? And we're going to look at a couple of examples here in um, Hebrews chapter 11. I'm not sure if I'm going to go all the way through it. But to give you an idea through the writings of the Apostle Paul, understanding that the men that you read about in the scriptures from the Old Testament unto the apostles themselves demonstrated a faith that only Yahweh, who is the Heavenly Father, that's his name, and uh, Yahweh Shai, the Savior, right, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus the Christ, okay, his son, right, that they impart faith as a gift to those that believe, okay? And it's given, Salakia, to those whom the Lord wants to have, all right? Have that faith. And it's going to be much needed in the days to come because you can see that society as a whole is uh, going through or or... Uh, how would you say, um, it's going down the tubes, okay? And many, many of people, many of Jake, and, and when we say Jake, we, that's short for Jacob, all right? The 12 tribes, we just say Jake, okay? Uh, for anybody that may be new and that's listening, when you hear us say Jake, that's what we're referring to, okay? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And you see, this is, most Jakes don't have the faith that it's going to take to get you to salvation, okay? Because this is a faith that is unlike the faith uh, talked about in the Baptist church, right? Uh, the Christian church, as, as it were, all right? Because most of them Negroes in the church don't have faith. They have a faith that can only be uh, seen, if it makes sense to you. So long as they already know the outcome of something, a nigga will say that they have faith. Well, you really don't have faith, okay? Because to really put your to to really put faith on display, uh, especially as a gift from your how by Shimmy Shai, ten times out of ten you're going to be taken out of your comfort zone and put into a, a, a lifestyle, if you will, where everything is to a certain degree unfamiliar to you, which will require you to rely on Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And I'll give you a little bit of a short example of what, I, what I'm trying to get across. And it's just like a young kid who may be a good athlete in college, let's say, 
Um, and everybody tells him how great he is and that he's going to be a number one draft pick into the league. Okay. <clears throat> and the kid may say, yeah, well, you know, I, I, I prayed this is my dream and, you know, I got faith that it happened. Well, they're already telling you basically that it's going to happen. Now, ultimately, you know, it's up to you. How about Shim Yao Shai? But my point is, it don't take very much for him or her for that matter, right? Um, because you have professional female athletes as well. It don't take very much when everybody tells you that you're a shoe winner, right? But, in, but ultimately to get to salvation, Yahweh by Shem Yahushai will usually take you out of that thing that you know that you're comfortable with, that you know that you can do, that nobody is as good at it as you or uh, you enjoy it so much. Whatever it may be, right? It, it don't take very much faith to uh, excel in that, okay? Because the Lord is not dealing with everybody. So generally, his elect <laughs> will be taken out of their comfort zone in the world, that is, right? And that measure of faith that the Lord gives you, you're going to have to operate with that because you're not going to know exactly where you're going with this thing, right? It's almost like a day-by-day -day basis, right? And most Jakes can't do that, right? Because it's something that's unseen. It's something that you can't put your hands on, right? And, and most, most of our people, they only believe what's in front of their eyes, okay? It takes, it takes strong faith to believe in that which you have not seen. But so long as Jake can see it, it really ain't faith. And that's what this chapter goes into here at the very top. So let's just jump, let's, let's just jump right into it, Salakia. Hebrews 11 and 1, it reads, Now faith is the substance, substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, for by it the elders obtain a good report. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of Yahweh, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. And so faith, so long as you can see it as tangible, is really not faith, all right? But you got to believe in a thing that you can't see, all right? Just to put it bluntly, all right? And here, when you get to verse 4, we go into several of the patriarchs, okay, and prophets and so on, who demonstrated that faith, okay, when they understood certain things, but then that faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, putting them into a different category or a different realm, where spiritually they could only use that faith okay in a way in which what they normally have around them does not operate if that makes sense all right verse 4 by faith Abel offered unto Yahweh a more excellent sacrifice than Cain by, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous the most high testifying of his gifts and by it, the beginning, the Salaki. And by it, he being dead yet speaketh. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because the Most High had translated him. For before his translation, he had the testimony that he pleased the Most High. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is right because you don't see him. And it's like I said, Jake only say he got faith when he can see, smell, touch, feel, you know what I mean? Feel is the same as touch, but you get my point, right? So long as it's, they're able to, 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 to uh, understand it, 
right, or comprehended by their human senses, they think that that's faith. So you have to be in the realm of the unseen in order to have faith because that's what it is. It's unseen. Okay? But without faith, it is impossible to please him for he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. By faith, Noah being warned of the Most High of things not seen as yet. See? Move with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house by the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which is by faith. All right. And even Noah, okay, um, before any laws, all right, had faith. Same with Abraham. Okay. Let's go on. By faith, Abraham. When he was uh, called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance obeyed and he went out not knowing whither he went. See, traveling or moving when you don't know what the, ne the, uh, the outcome of the next step is going to be. It takes that unseen uh, spiritual um, 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 trust in Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. Okay? In the Lord. Alright? To operate that way. By faith he sojourned in the land of promise, as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked for a city which had foundation, whose builder and maker is the most high. Through faith also Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed and was delivered of a child when she was past age because she judged him faithful who had promised, right? So even in Sarah's case, right, a woman who knew what the abilities and capabilities of the human female body was okay put that trust and said okay lord if you say so right which most natural people will say oh well that's going to be impossible or it's going to be difficult for you to carry a child at that age or do this or do that see what i'm saying all right so is it's a different kind of faith okay in which most Jakes are un unbelievers anyway. They don't, they don't, like I said, really don't have any faith. Okay? And so as you go further into uh, Hebrews 11, you'll see other examples. Okay? Now I want to kind of segue here to another scripture. Okay? And let's go over to Ephesians. And Paul, again, explaining it. This is Ephesians 2 and 1, it reads, And you hath he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. Okay? Um, and so I'm going into this because there are those out there who say what that um, uh, the salvation uh, is open for all nation peoples. And Paul, again, is reiterating here because when you go to 1 John 3 and 4, it tells you what sin is, okay, which is transgression of the law. So he's explaining to them there was a time you, where you trespassed and lived in your sins, right? So this would mean that he's speaking to the Israelites near and about Ephesus, all right? Verse 2, wherein times past ye walked according to the course of this world, right? Which you can liken unto today. Many, many of Jake's are, are walking according to this world, where in this world, most people don't have faith, right? And as the scripture says, you know, faith is a gift. Okay, so the faith that you hear the people of the world say that they have is not the same faith that it takes to walk 
with Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Wherein the times past he walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of, of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, right? And you can you know, liken that to two-thirds of Jake, among whom also we all had our conversations in times past in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and whereby nature the children of wrath even as others. Right. So, yeah, we were once in that world. Right. We were once doing the things of the world, getting getting the things of the world through our own flesh and our own lust. Right. Which really didn't require any faith. You see. But the most high who is rich in mercy for his great love, wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins. Right. And the Israelites are the ones that could sin. Right, because what they had the laws. Uh, the other nation people didn't have the laws, though there may have been other nation people mixed in with the Israelites who went out there into the wilderness and that kind of thing. Right, they had a couple strangers mingled in there somewhere from another nation, but ultimately it is to the Israelites. All right, even when we were dead in sins, have quickened us together with Mashiach by grace ye are saved. And have raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Mashiach Yahweh That in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness towards us through Mashiach Yahweh For by grace are ye saved through what? Faith. Okay. And that not of yourselves, it is the gift of the Most High. See? So faith is a gift, this kind of faith, the faith of relying on your how about Shem Yahushai, not doing the things of the world and then saying that you have faith. You know, I got faith that I'm going, you know, I averaged 30 points a, a, a game for two seasons straight. I know I'm going to make it to the NBA. Well, do you believe you will? Yeah, I got the faith. No, you already pretty much know, right? According to what the world tells you, right? Not the same thing. Okay. Hopefully I'm making sense to you. Verse 9, not of works, lest any man should boast. Okay. So that, that gift of faith is not according to what we've done in our flesh, but the fact that it truly is a gift. Right. And not many have it. But it's going to take that kind of faith to get through these last evil days is, is the whole point of the lesson. All right. This is Matthew 8, and we'll just jump into verse 23, and it reads, And when he was entered into a ship, his disciples followed him, and behold, there rose a great tempest in the sea, insomuch that the ship was covered with the waves, but he, Yahweh Shai, was asleep. And his disciples came to him and awoke him, saying, Lord, save us, we perish. And he saith unto them, Why are ye fearful? O ye of little faith. Then he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. But the men marveled, saying, What manner of man is this, that even the winds and the sea obey him? Right. So here they are, the, the disciples, rolling with Yahweh Shai, and they are witnesses to all the miracles and know who he is, and yet, when it seemed like there was trouble, they panicked, right? And all of this is a lesson, right, for us to understand that Yahweh Shai was, what, sleeping, right, at peace. And they not understanding, being able to discern that, hey, we're with the master so that he's not going to let anything happen to us. See, but their flesh took over and they got scared, right? And it's almost like, Light and dark cannot occupy the same space at the same time. So when you got fear, where is your faith? You got to have one or the other. You got to have this faith, right? Or you, you, you're either going to have that or you're going to have fear. You see? Let's go on. I, I don't want to make this too much longer. 
because the point is about the days which are coming up upon us and you can see the evil in the world you can see the unemployment rising you have people complaining about uh, they can't afford a place to live how they're struggling to pay their basic necessities their basic bills to have basic uh, uh, elements for nutrition or food um, many are, 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 are losing their, their cars because they can't make the payments. This is a very evil time that's coming upon you, okay? And it's going to take this kind of faith in Yahabashim Yahushai ultimately to reach that salvation. And as it said, it's a gift, so not everybody's going to have it, all right? And, and this is your opportunity because we read about grace. This is your opportunity to humble yourself, to repent, right? And come unto Yahweh Hashem Yahushai so that you would hopefully receive that gift of faith, man, that, that will get you to salvation, okay? So this is uh, 2 Ezra chapter 6. Let's read a couple of verses up here. Then we're going to drop down. All right. Uh, verse 1. And it reads, And he said unto me, In the beginning, when the earth was made, before the borders of the world stood, or ever the winds blew, before it thundered and lightning, or ever the foundations of the paradise were laid, before the fair flowers were seen, or ever the movable powers were established, before the innumerable multitude of angels were gathered together, or ever the heights of the air were lifted up, before the measures of the firmament were named, or ever the chimneys in, the, in Zion were hot. Salakia. Sometimes that thing does its own thing. Verse 5, And ere the, pres the present years were sought out, and or ever the inventions of them that now uh, sin were turned before they were sealed that have gathered faith for a treasure. And, and did I consider these things, then did I consider these things, and they all were made through me alone and through none other. By me also they shall be ended and by no other. All right, so the Lord, right, really, Shai really um, uh, the Heavenly Father giving Yahweh Shai basically let's say it, it, you know giving him the blueprint and, and 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 making the angels and then making creating all the things that you see okay um, this these things that you see him being the creator and the only one right nobody else can can uh, can end what he started but him all right, so understanding that from the foundations of the earth, how the Lord did things and he did it alone uh, uh, as being holy, you know, um, as as uh, being uh, uh, the heavenly father and giving order to uh, to his son and the angels to create all things. You see, and the heavenly father just sit back. OK, sit back and, and let it be done. Okay, well, nobody else can do that, and nobody can, nobody else can end it but him. Okay, so let's jump down to verse 18, and we'll jump it right there, and it reads, And I said, Behold, the days come that I will begin to draw nigh and to visit them that dwell upon the earth, and I will begin to make inquisition of them what they be that have hurt unjustly with their unrighteousness, and when the affliction of Zion shall be fulfilled, right? And we're hoping that our affliction, our imprisonment, if you will, our bondage uh, in, in, in these last days, you know, it, it comes to a quick halt very, very soon, okay? That this thing is over with. But like I said, he will be the one to bring it to end, okay? Uh, verse 20, and when the world that shall begin to vanish away shall be finished, 
Then will I show these tokens, the books shall be open before the firmament, and they shall see all together. And the children of a year old shall speak with their voices. The women with child shall bring forth untimely children of three or four months old, and they shall live and be <clears throat> raised up. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. And the trumpet shall give a sound, which when every man heareth, they shall be suddenly afraid. Right? And we're coming into these times like that. Okay? Different types of miracles will be done, but also different calamities will be done. Verse 24 at that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies, and the earth shall stand in fear. And those that dwell therein, the springs of the fountain shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run. Whosoever remaineth from all these that I have told thee, thee shall escape and see my salvation and the end of your world. And the men that are received shall see it, and who have not tasted death from their birth and the heart of the inhabitants shall be changed and turned into another meeting. For evil shall be put out and deceit shall be quenched. Verse 28, as for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome and the truth, which have been so long without fruit, shall be declared. Okay, and it's going to take that kind of faith to reach salvation, right? That faith that will flourish okay not your fifth baptist church faith okay but the faith of the wisdom and knowledge of how by shimmy Shai and these scriptures okay for these latter times it's a different ball game now and you know the prophets have been telling you that this was on its way all right let's get one more and then we'll We'll go ahead and shut it down, all right? This is uh, 1 Peter. We'll jump in here right at verse 1. It reads, Peter, an apostle of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia. All right, so who was scattered? The Israelites. Pursuant to Deuteronomy 28, uh, I believe 64 through 68. Okay, you can go back and read that. All right, so the... Israelites were scattered all over, <clears throat> and the Lord is picking up his elect, all right, from the four winds of the earth, all right, those that will hear the word and what? Have that faith and will come back, all right, because the elect will not continue on in the world as you see it, you know. You still have people who, 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 who think that they're, you know, climbing a corporate ladder in this society right now, right? In Babylon the Great, they still think there's a corporate ladder for them to climb. They still think all of these different government agencies are, 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 are going to protect them, right? They still have faith, if you will, and trust in the, in the, in the banking system, right? They, they, they still believe in um, uh, the school system. They still believe in the political roles and the Senate and the state government and so on and so forth. Okay? That's not the same faith. The faith is when you cast all your care upon Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, right? And you turn your back to the ways of this world, right? Looking for the world to come. All right? Verse 2. Um, elect. That's the first word in verse 2. And that's what you hear us preach about all the time. The elect of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay. Let's, let's start at verse 1 again and get it in rhythm. It says, Peter, an apostle of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, elect according to the foreknowledge of Yahweh the Father through sanctification of the Spirit unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of who? Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach. Grace, there's that word again, unto you and peace be multiplied. Blessed be the Heavenly Father, Salakiel. 
Blessed be the power and father of our Lord, Yahweh Shammash Yach, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Yahweh Shammash Yach from the dead to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled and that fadeth not away reserved in heaven for you who are kept by the power of Yahweh through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last times. Right. And that's being revealed right now. That this is a different faith. This ain't the faith of Grandmama's church. Right. This is not the faith of Papa's church. Okay. And Pastor Leroy. This is different. This is the truth. 1 Peter uh, 1 and 6, it reads, Wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations, that the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, whom having, whom so like it, having not seen, ye love, right? So none of us have seen Yahweh Shai. But through this faith, right, we love the Lord. Whom having not seen, ye love, in whom, uh, uh, though now ye see him not, though now ye see him not, so like it, yet believing, ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. Okay, so even though we haven't seen him, we believe and we have that faith. Verse 9, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls, of which salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently, who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you. Right, the prophets beforehand who didn't get to see Yahweh Shai, all right, understood through faith of the promise of a savior for the children of Israel. All right. So this is a different faith. This is not the faith of the, of your grandparents church. All right. So I'll end it right there. Lord willing is edifying lesson. You know, it's comforting those that, that watch this video. All right. Um, just to give you a comparison of the different, of a different faith, a different faith of, Yahweh by Shem Yahushai compared to the, the faith, quote unquote, of the world. All right. This there's no comparison. All right. This is the faith that you need. Okay. So get it while you can because the doors of mercy are closing. The evil times are upon us. And you should be able to see that now. Right? There's no getting better here in Babylon, right? This place is circling the drain. All right, so there you have it. We'll end it right there, giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Shalom.